holy mackerel, here we are at Sun and Fun. After 40 years of getting ready, we have our 40th birthday. What's going to happen to Sun and Fun this year? Lots of people are coming in. Ticket sales pre-event pre are through the roof. They're to the sky's the limit right now. Why? Because I think everybody's ready for a really good time and airplanes in the middle of that. So we're recognizing the 100th anniversary of commercial aviation, which started right here in Florida in 1914, St. Pete to Tampa on a seaplane. And we're doing a 100th anniversary of combat aviation. We're going to have some of the oldest airplanes ever flown in combat all the way through the newest with the F-22. We got the Blue Angels. They're going to be tearing up the sky on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, the rest of the week has got a, lo a lineup of really rare vintage military aircraft, along with uh, some exciting home builds. i got a helicopter that's coming in. It does 200 miles an hour. Lift off out of your backyard. You can go all the way from California to Washington, D.C. on one tank of gas. How about that? So uh, we've got a, a ton of stuff. And, of course, you've got on Tuesday night, the first night, we've got the leaders of the industry, Jack Pelton from EAA, Mark Baker from AOPA, Ed Bowen from NBAA, and Mark Socorro from Helicopter Association International. And they're going to talk to the subject. Where it's all near and dear to our hearts. How do you get the youth back into aviation? We are so far behind the power curve. We're 25% down in the number of pilots in America since 1980, 65% down in the number of student pilots. So they're going to address that on that night. And then, of course, we've got our fireworks on Saturday night. That would be preceded by a great night air show and a super show during the day. So all in all, we got a great event. And, oh, by the way, don't forget, why do you come to Sun and Fun? Because every dollar you spend goes back to educate the next generation of aviators as we build a brighter future through aviation in our Aerospace Center for Excellence. Take a look at the corridor up front. It's all about education through the eyes of an aviator.